So uh, those that you don't know, uh, I'm Spencer Vigil. I use he, him pronouns. Um, some of you might know me personally. Some of you might have taught me. Uh, some of you uh, might know me as the trans alumni that's uh, suing the Department of Education in a landmark class action lawsuit. When I came to SPU, it was after my mother died of stage four lung cancer. She died in April of 2015 and I left for SPU that following September because I needed some place to go, to escape, to figure out what exactly I wanted out of life. I had no idea throughout my years at SPU I would face problems like homelessness, discrimination, and harassment from those same people that offered me education, community, and fellowship. I'm sure those of you that have endured similar paths understand the varying complexities in a story like mine, but the things I endured at SPU are unacceptable, and it took me years of processing and therapy to discover that I wanted to hold a space for accountability within the institution that caused me so much harm. I was left with the ideology that prayer makes wrongdoings and harm disappear. It does not. Action does. And that's what y'all are here doing today. It doesn't take much to do the right thing. And you already did the most important thing, which was show up. So keep being loud, keep holding each other up, keep pushing for change, and keep showing up. And know that I'm here alongside of you. Thank you. Right after college, four years of knowledge, me ten years of experience. Am I conceding? Are the cycles repeating? How do I break this curse? So much apathy, it's catching up to me. I guess it could be much worse. And you, you make it look so easy. self-care. <clears throat> Arriving, me and my brothers look very, very much like my grandfather. Um, those are my grandparents. Um, that was when they got married on their wedding day. They got married very young. Um, and my grandfather just passed a couple years ago, but my grandmother's still kicking it in California, and she's amazing. This box is like all of my writing that I've ever done. From college, and different projects and stuff, unfinished manuscripts, like all of this stuff that I wrote in college. First grade stories, been writing for a very long time. Got a letter from President Obama, which is pretty cool, for community service, which is really nice. And I like I got like a little pin that's uh, like presidential seal. So I'm really proud of that. I should probably frame it. Um, oh yeah, here's the pin, which is cool. It's like pretty pretty nice. Um it's hard because like my dead name isn't on a lot of these things, which kinda sucks. Um, they don't tell you that when you're a trans writer. Um, I don't think if there's anything else I really want to show you in here. I don't think so. Ready to go. But I feel it now more than ever. Take the leap and pull the lever. Um, I am about to go to a meeting and I am getting my master's and writing a musical. Um, it is about trans joy and experience in the face of adversity, um, which seems very fitting, doesn't it? <laughs> What's one more risk, one more storm to weather? So take my hand, we'll take control. Of How long did you say you have? I have less than 60 days to have a 15 minute cut of my show. It's wild. But I just want to show like the main character arc of our protagonist. 
and in order to do that most of the songs have to center this protagonist um, so it's mostly gonna be like really big numbers like the opening I think is a really good one and then basically the I want song the 11 o'clock number and then the um, the closing finale of it basically but it's hard because they like we have to time it out so it all kind of like fits together um, so that's like the hardest part because it, it like includes our pitch and everything so it's like everything is included in that 15 minutes including the pitch so the second that like you start it, the clock starts you gotta go you gotta get everything that you need to get done um, but I think I can do it it's just figuring out where it all fits right um, which is I think both the challenge and the fun of it right Oh, definitely Shane. Shane is our main character of the story. Shane goes through the biggest character arc um, and is completely different from the beginning of the show to the end of the show. Um, and so charting that out has been like super interesting because it didn't used to be that way. When I first started writing it, it was like it was mostly an ensemble piece. Um, and like that was like the goal of like having like an ensemble show. Um, and while it still is, like it's a, it's a it's a full ensemble, but it's more importantly like it does center Shane a lot, and everybody's motives are to serve Shane or to help Shane in some sort of way. Um, but yeah, less than sixty days. p.m. tonight, Gregory Hall, third floor where the president's office is. You know where. Have everything we'll need. We won't be here for a week, but yes, I do. What else can we check? Is everybody else in yet? Who else are we missing? I think we might need to take a deep breath. Inhaler, check. Take a second Mateo, this needs to be all thought through Not one single crack will be like super glue I'll make sure that they're all in Andy, are you in? It's a sign of the times, but I would never miss it Gonna have to scream it so loud They're gonna have to hear it Planning all the steps along the way Sweaty my whole, my whole tagline of being in New York is Spencer is hot and sweaty. Spencer, the hot and sweaty mess. It did. Minus 10. Huh? Minus 10? I know. Oh, I love you. I am sweaty. I'm, okay. I'm also eating Taco Bell. I love that for you. It's open. I saw it was open. It's open. It's I'm rare. sorry. You just call my bedroom the magic space. <laughs> what do you want me to call it? <laughs> this is where we write the musical. Mari, are you still planning on going? Go! You're welcome. Do you want to sing all too well? <laughs> no. Can we get you the click like track The click track is done, and so oh. to Alex. Perfect. <laughs> I didn't, you didn't even know. I just, that's, that's all I want. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for a recording in a studio, you do this thing, which is actually one of the reasons why I applied to the program, because I didn't know how to do it for my show where you take the click, you make a click track, which is basically, um, so basically we have a song. The song specifically changes tempo. And so what they do in Broadway musicals when things change tempo is they create a click track. And so like we use Logic primarily. Logic is a really nice digital audio workspace, also known as a DAW. There's, it would be kind of hard to tell because I have so much shit on this desk. Are we allowed to curse? <laughs> is that a thing we're allowed to do? Who cares? We can do whatever we want. It's our DAW. Documentaries for HBO, so <laughs> it's not for Disney. <laughs> you think Disney would take up a show about trans people? I don't think so. Let's wait 10 years. No, we, we don't have 10 years. Okay, sorry. Wait, so, so what we'll do is we'll make a new MIDI instrument and we will specifically go from the first measure, maybe a one measure count in. Yeah. 
and we'll mute everything else. Let's give them a four. I'm actually going to make a different copy of this. Um, Project alternative. Read out that way I know what it is because I'm going to mute everything. The, this is the tempo of the track. So you can see it starts at 80 BPM um, pretty much. I mean, it moves up to 82, but that's probably an error. But we start at 80 and then it has this gradual crescendo by 10 BPM, which like you might think is not that much. But if we start here, you can hear that it's going pretty slow and it's starting to get faster and then it's even faster. Nice build. Now this feels very uneven, but like when you actually hear it without the click, it feels very even. Um, and what that does is like this song is about resilience um, and this song like needs to have this arc to it. Like it needs to not, yeah, it if does. it stays at the, <laughs> it's musical theater. Yeah, it if it does. stays at the one tempo, it will be quite frankly very boring. Um, and so like as the momentum for this character coming to a realization, this character being Shane in the musical, um, it's important that we go from, we were here, and we end up somewhere like this, Sebastian. And I'm giving it a little bit extra time, um, and I'm just gonna give it like one note to play at the very beginning. Um, so like if we actually listen to the just this file, it sound like this. Oh, Shane, are you hearing me? Shane has That's such a good. Well, this so you can hear that one. This is so good. very loud. If, if I could stay here forever, I'd never, never be afraid There's no way that's the right tomorrow. key. <laughs> There's, but but I'd I never, never feel the thrill. Yeah, that's the wrong key. <laughs> but that's okay. It's a beautiful song. Okay. It, it um, just washes over me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I was telling him in the elevator, I was like, that was like the first time that I had heard any trans like opinions on peace besides like besides mine and, and like CQ. yeah and like cq i mean this thing i'll talk to you about it uh, a little bit like but not like like plot like okay. like deep in the thick of it right um and so it was just really interesting to hear what they had to say about it um and always welcomed of course because like i was just like i i feel like i'm just so deep in it sometimes that like i like can't like objectively yeah. view it and so it's really interesting like to hear their perspectives like in their own like experience as trans people and then to, super like, important yeah and then to like take that and then like i definitely came away from those conversations like today like thinking like oh like these are like like this is like what's the next step for this draft um oh that's really exciting which is really exciting because i felt really stuck for a while I mean, like, last few weeks have not been easy. No, they haven't yeah. been very easy. For, for any of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I had a great week. I had a great week. I've slept a lot this week. Mm. <laughs> you know what's the... Okay, what's worse? Not sleeping or sleeping but feeling like you haven't slept? So I wrote, I wrote an old song for like a reconciliation between these two older characters. And then I wrote this new song about one of those older characters in a fight sequence and they're the the melodies are like they're they're close it's, they're it's, close. They're close. This to one the is same just thing. that if it was like in major. The other one does this like cool thing where we're doing um, let me do, um... So it's like, we're in B-flat, but then we do an A-flat over B-flat chord, which is cool. How would you feel? Question. How I would don't know, I feel? I don't know if this would be too difficult to do. Oh, no. Every wrinkled dollar on the edge of starting over In the depths of staying alive Do you believe in timing do you hold the past so tight that your heart is someplace you've never really been and i just wish i could feel the edges of my world coming to a standstill instead of climbing up hill. if i could stay here forever i'd never be afraid of
the it door. It just washes <laughs> over me. Oh. <laughs> it's a like good song. Food. It's not specific. Yeah. Neil, I played Neil this song today. They just like everybody in rehearsal was really good that was that was a great rehearsal it, it, it's it's it was nice for me because i haven't done a rehearsal one since i started piano lessons again and mm. <laughs> i do play piano um and, oh, do you? <laughs> and two since like we started school and i forgot how much joy it brings me yeah. um but you know what i mean like I, I i forgot how much joy running a rehearsal i mean i was in this bookshop the other day i was when i was on the phone with you that's where i was <laughs> yeah that's a real painting that hung in his in his room. List song. I wonder if Jonathan Larson knew that they put Vanessa Hudgens, Andrew Garfield, and Joshua Henry in a movie production of his musical. That's like haunting. That's that's crazy. And Vanessa Hudgens moves that harmony so nice, like to the seventh. She has a great voice. I don't care what people say. What do people say? People say? I guess. People don't say. <laughs> I think she's phenomenal. That's illegal. That's illegal. Darkness and wonder our lies falling under. Where are we? Uh, we're at Berkeley Power Station Studios, getting ready to record. Search for an answer, assure ourselves in the promises we keep. Lie to myself. Yeah, and I think I'm just like. I've just been thinking a lot about it, and like the more I think about it, the more that like I think I like psych myself out, and I don't really know what that means for my writing right now. Calm before the storm type vibe. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the most challenging part about tracking to? Mm. I'd say just like set up. And then I'll be running through it with a couple of times. We don't have a basis, so we have to track that later. So that's a little bit hard, but um, yeah, that should go pretty smoothly. Um, we're just like kind of looking to get like a live feel, anyways. So I'm not going into this. I'm not like looking for perfection. Just I I want a great quality, as great as we can get it. Um, in whatever way that means for today. Um, I think seeing through to anything you've done is really hard. Yeah. Well, it just changes. Everything changes so much. Like, it's hard to plan out like a whole universe, right? Essentially. It's also fun. It's like, Putting the puzzle pieces together, I think, makes it fun. I like a challenge. I mean, you know, how long have you known me for? Four years. Mm -hmm. Five years. I think since 2019. And the challenge. So it's just so wild to me, like, how, how different I was. Um, in 2019. It was like just after I came out. All that crazy shit was happening, but um, yeah, it seems like forever now. Yeah, it's so strange. If you were to tell me in 2019 that I'd be Doing this, I probably wouldn't have believed you. So wild. Fuck finale. Alex working his magic. I'm remembering what I can from months ago. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great, sweetie. You're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> but also. 
I think that should be. I I, yeah. I was telling Ben I would rather them rush the lines than four four measures. Yeah. yeah. Um, the bum 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 bada. When it comes back, I may give you like two bar repeats because it it is like okay. a two bar phrase. Okay. Um, I just yeah. I don't know why that was <laughs> in my head right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's, that's a and you're good. We did with the reference track and then the American Idiot kind of like dynamic of. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can we listen to it maybe a little bit? Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. I do don't have the charts printed out. I could print what? them out for you. Do you work in Sibelius or Fanatic? Um, do you know when, like... Do you, all right, Mike, we're going to play this song for you right now just so you can listen to it. Are you hearing me? Bad service? That was for well, this isn't picking up. Just leave a message. We have work to do. 5 p.m. tonight, Gregory Hall, third floor where the president's office is. Do you know where? Everything will need You will be here for a week But yes, I do What else can we check? Is everybody else in yet? Who else are we missing? I think we might need to take a deep breath In Taylor, check Can we take a second? <laughs> Mateo, this needs to be all thought through Not one single crack will be like super glue I'll make sure that they're all in. Andy, are you in? In the vans, we just need to break it down. Mm -hmm. It is fast. It's <laughs> really fast. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the the Shane section, the I should say that. That's more of like a halftime feel. Uh, if that makes sense. Like, it just has to be lighter. It's, um, I love that I just sang it to you instead of giving you a measure number. Yeah. I love Berkeley. I really hope that Stephen Webber doesn't expel me. Me <laughs> <laughs> uh, too. I could live without Ben. I could live without Ben. I could yeah. Live without ben. yeah. I'm kidding. yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> um, I am. Um, <laughs> can you ask me again? <laughs> I hate this. Uh, we are. How long have you been working on this? Since October, which was what seven months ago. Wow. That's fine. <laughs> I don't want to seven talk months. About it. I've been working on this for seven months. <laughs> I think um, like when we got here, there's a lot of talk about like what musical theater sounds like, um, and I think like not just you, but other people in the program too. Were like musical theater shouldn't sound like anything. It should sound like music. Yeah. Um, which is like a conversation to have. Um, but I think like in our arranging, we found this like rock musical theater synth pop. The only way to describe it is gay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, musical aesthetic for the show. Um, that, like, it has theater in it, but it also is something that, like, I don't think we've heard in a show. Yeah. <laughs> like, I went to Spencer yeah. a couple weeks ago. This was, no, maybe it's a couple days ago. And I was like, your show is, like, gay spring awakening. And because then, Spring Awakening is clearly a very, and then, and then very Spencer straight like, show. And then to Spencer begin was like, isn't it already gay? And I was like, no, but yours is more gay. <laughs> yours is the gayest of all of our shows. Oh, definitely. My 54 show last week, mm -hmm. I went up to the sound after tech and went, is everything all right? And she went, yes, all good. And I went, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> and she went, um, Nothing that goes wrong in this room will impact anything. The world will keep turning and the stars will keep shining. And I went, Amanda. Amanda, please. Amanda, I love that. It's just a play. Yeah. Can we... Is this, this still isn't lighting up though, right? I think, is this the wrong supply for this? I, I borrowed a copy of Only before. Yeah. Well, I, okay. I, 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 try plugging this into your guitar. Okay. I just want to make sure just it's not because I think this is making a noise. <laughs> I didn't know this was Lush. <laughs> We're not there, Josh. We're not there. Learn the song. <laughs> I know the song better than you. But I can't play like that. So. Hi. <laughs> Hello. What's that string I'm, instrument? I'm that glad you play piano for this. Sure. Not piano, guitar, <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Because we can always add stuff. We can't yeah. change it, you know, once it's done. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
not Tom Holland. <laughs> Tom Holland. <laughs> Tom Holland. He's <laughs> <laughs> my favorite. Tom Holland. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any? So it's just collecting any, there's no like mini instrument. You have to do an instrument track, which you could do for right now. That sounds so good. So yeah. You know that you're getting it. After a tape, just double check. (laughs) One, two, three, four. I love it. All right, let's go for it. Uh, Two measures in and then you're at measure one. Did you change these chords? Cool. Oh, that's why I'm dumb. There we go. Oh, it's a long email. Shit. It you got it too? Change. You got it too? I apologize to Larry Lawrence. Seat swim. While your application was impressive, unfortunately, we were unable to offer you, you a spot. spot in the next round of the application process. Yeah. We understand that this news may be disappointing. In the next round of the application <clears throat> process? Well, because they do interviews and stuff. <clears throat> Oh, I was like, you were impressive. Never apply again. This reminds me of the business emails where they're like, we were so impressed by your midterm. You really showed enthusiasm. B minus. B minus. Yeah. <laughs> Will you be ready to go sh- shortly? Shane. <laughs> shortly. Ready to go. I do everything in my life shortly. <laughs> Loudly and with feeling. Uh, same thing. Two measures in, and then we're at measure one. Let's go for it. Again. 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 With feeling? Yeah, with more feeling. Okay. Take it one more time. Yeah, I know I hear it. It's like the drumming. No, no. It's it's the drumming. Two, three, and. One, two, three, and. should be building like I've uh, at measure at measure 102 it should build um I've done it bop bop build 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 a million times build 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 before blah blah blah, blah. and then at 105 when it hits Three. And this is how I live now this is how I live now this is how I live Let's go. The shame that's not my own. Can I let the light in in this life I've built alone? And can I let you? Never done that before. Can 
I just move onward? Can I just move onward? I can. I've done it a million times before. And this is how I live now. This is how I live now. This is how I live now. Measure what's one when I feel life pass me by. Running never ending races. Don't you dare say that you're tired. How do I measure how much I've grown? Finally learning to trust. If I'm ever like having like a bad day, like I'll just like sit over by the grass and kind of like write, which is really nice. Um, what's really cool is, um, so like this used to be like a junk, like lot. Um, and then this hospital was here. But then this building, that's now apartment buildings, that's the um, old St. Vincent's Hospital, which they did a lot of like the AIDS research in. Um, and, you know, that's where a lot of people passed. And so this is a, um, a park for them. And then there's like these like nice little things on the ground. It's just kind of nice to like be, be around here, you know? Mm. I feel like really connected to like queer history and like yeah it's just really nice um, to kind of be able to like have a nice little park. It's so interesting because like in Seattle it's like there's like art like huge parks like everywhere. In New York there's like a lot of like little small parks. Um, and I just like love all of them. Um, yeah it's just really nice. And, I've written like a lot. A lot of the show I've written here. Um, a lot of lyrics and stuff. Um, and then, yeah, I just, I don't know. Like, I, I really like sitting on like this bench over here and then I'll like look up. I think that's the thing that I have loved the most being here is just like being able to like work with so many really, really awesome, nice people um, who are also great friends. Um, and yeah, they're really special. Um, and we were working under like a really, really tight timeline. So we only had two hours in the studio for two songs and we ended up getting really good takes, I think, um, in comps of what I think can be on the album, which is really exciting. Um, it's also just really like wild, like hearing something like you had in your head for so long and it's just like out there now, or it's like other people like are like, like buying into this vision that I had. Um, which is so cool and like, I don't know, part of the reasons why I like theater so much. Um, and I think it's just such like a collaborative art form that when shared with other people only gets better, right? I think I'm getting to a place where I'm, I'm really excited about it and excited about all of the unknowns and what's to come and who's going to be a part of it and where I'm gonna be. Um, it's all, it's all a big question mark. And that's really both fun and terrifying. <laughs> Thank you very much. Do you have any like Cholula or something? Yeah, I'd love some.
the soundboard. It's like a digital version of what we were working on yesterday, um, which is nice because it's smaller, but a bunch of, so bunch of these buttons do it, similar things. It's, it's just that a lot of the meters are now digital. Um, it's just newer. The other stuff is from, this building was refurbished over the pandemic. Refurbished, renovated, renovated. And uh, so I imagine that this might be a newer piece of technology. Um, but yeah, we'll use this to record. This line, you can see it says talk back. Um, so like the vocalist will be in that booth. That's a booth down the hall. And we'll do this fun thing where we talk to them through that channel specifically. Um, Hello. Hi, Alex. Hey, Hello. Alex. Hey, y'all. Oh Hi, Alex. Good hey. morning. Good morning. Good morning. So we're recording what? in here in the ISO booth? Yes, I would like to do a group in the ISO booth if, if possible, and mm -hmm. then separate vocals here in this room. But do you eat... better than putting two mics in that room. Yeah. Sense. Let's prepare for the take where we all sing. So let's go to the isolation booth. Okay. Um, take it. Open this door. I hope none of you are claustrophobic. Period. Okay. We're, we're slaying. We did that. This is a Moog. It's one of your visual synthesizers. In case there anybody's wondering. No I feel like the maximum occupancy, occupancy occupancy of this room has been exceeded. Okay. Right? But. It's a sign of the times! It's so, like. You know, the, it's sign of the times. It's very dry in here. Yeah. It should Did you make your musical theater or? Composition. Composition. A genius. Word. A brilliant, brilliant genius. So I wrote time opera. Is you wrote oh, opera. I wrote opera. And string. Can I see Archie's weird opera? Because <laughs> I would watch That'd the fuck funny. out of that. That'd actually be hilarious. Yeah, if you tell me like anything you've ever done, I will hyperbolize it. Like oh. all of you have Grammys to me. Well, I do. No, I'm kidding. Like, like, actually, I played on an M I, I played on a Grammy winning album. That or I played on an album with a song that won a Grammy. You have a Grammy, right? What are you talking about? <laughs> well, yeah. I have to scream it so loud. Hello. Oh my god. I mean, I, if you can we do it like that? <laughs> Can I just scream it so loud? Like, they're gonna <laughs> have to <laughs> hear it so loud. They're gonna have to hear it. Hello, for tonight's entertainment, I present West Side <laughs> Story, and I will be I playing, will be all, playing the all the parts. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, just, oh, okay, multilingual. Yeah, that shook me. Just came out with that. Because the, in the other room, it's, it's uh, in the first room too over there. So there's four of them in there, four headphone sets. Yeah. Five. Right. Should I just track mine after them? Yeah. I'd recommend that. Okay. Yeah, you can conduct them from the monitor. They can't hear. Is the talk on? Or is that talk back is not on. Okay. I just want to test if it works. The Which one is? This TV in the middle. Do you just want to play the track for them first so they know oh. when they come in and let's talk to it? Yeah, let's just do it. like a dry run. On measure nine, how many times? Measure nine. Uh, none. And we're just going, like, that's not a repeat anymore. It's just a... Uh, no repeat. Yeah, because essentially the beginning is a vamp. So should um, yeah. I record the dialogue? Or yes. Or should I... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but again, if you have to choose between coming in on time and saying the line, come in on time. What else can we chat with everybody else in here? What else are we missing? I think we may need to take a deep breath. Inhaler? Check. And then take a second. The tail just needs to be all popped through. Not one single crack will be like super blue. No. It's a sign of the times, but I would never miss it. Gonna have to scream it so loud, they're gonna have to hear it. Playing all their steps along the way. The other thing, so just from off the bat, like this is a protest, we need energy. energy. Um, so just like max energy, max caffeine, all this stuff. Like, you know, it's like, let's pretend it's like four in the afternoon instead of two. Mm -hmm. The vamps were good. Vamps were good. Um, you all did a very good job, like pretending that Mateo's lines were in there. So props for you on that. Yeah, I think the biggest thing was seeing in unison, hearing each other. The cutoff was sharp. Great, great cutoff. Um, 
Yeah, the Shane section. So it's I should say that. How? Make sure how comes on the beat. How to say that? Okay. No. Okay. Cool. 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 Yeah. No worries. Just the biggest thing is energy. Like, energy. 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 Two energy. Cheerless yourselves. And yeah. All right. I'm gonna give this to them. Hello, friends. All right. I have this all highlighted for you. The best oh of the best. Truly. It sounds great. Thank you. Just remember, you want to like scream this at the top of your lungs. Don't I have to scream it so loud? Scream it so loud. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream. Like, like if you feel like you're, if you feel like you're, you feel like you're doing too much, like, like, like notch it up like five more. Love that. Okay. Yes. Word. Yes. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, on camera. Uh, on camera. All right. <laughs> that is sassy. Oh my God. <laughs> Mari, you can't bring your homework. Why not? It's a protest. Yeah, I still have paper. Why not? Home. We'll be there. We gotta go get Shane, though. Yeah, right. It's a sign of the times, but we would never miss it. Jumping in when we're needed most. Guess we're gonna have to wake the ghost. Cause we're in. Three, four. I should say that. I'm well, but they're not there. Shane! Yeah. It's a sign of the time that I'm gonna They are more in unison, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's much better. Yeah. I see. This is fine that we keep this take, but we should just do the individual after this. I'm happy with this. Yeah, I'm happy with this. There needs to be another measure there. Is there a measure like of two or something? They cut off They cut off on three. It all I mean, comes with four. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was just the... So we just need to add I was measure. so like... In Overall though, much better energy. We can probably still like kick it up a notch. Um, and like you can tell that you're listening to each other a little bit um, more because in unison. And just go for it. And then we'll do, we'll, we'll punch, which just means do that one section, the, the Shane dialogue, and then we'll punch the ending. Okay, cool. Change is in the air, and it starts today. It's a sign of the times, but I would never miss it. Gonna have to scream it so loud, they're gonna have to hear it. Open every single heart, they're gonna finally get it. Change is in the air, and it starts today. Cause we're in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. We're, We're in. in. We're, We're in. in. Hi, my name is Spencer J. Visual, and I wrote book, music, and lyrics for Loud and With Feeling. My name is Joshua Evan Iger. And I'm Ben Ward. And we collaborated with Spencer on additional music and arrangements. Loud and With Feeling is a show that I hold close to my heart as it's based on a true-to-life experience. And I'm thrilled to welcome you all to the protest. Are you in? <laughs> It's a sign of the times, but I would never miss it. Gonna have to scream it so loud, they're gonna have to hear it. Planning all the steps along the way. Do you think we're gonna be okay? Cause we're in. Hey, I'm Shane. My pronouns are he, they. You're just in time. We're headed to the protest right now at our Christian university. I should say that how to say that I'll be just fine just gotta stay alive hold on I'll be right out that's Andy and Mateo they're the brains behind this whole thing we've been waiting 20 minutes already Shane there hasn't been much time since our favorite teacher was fired that's why we're protesting I said I'll be right out for crying out loud oh he was fired for being gay it's a sign of the time, but I would never miss it. Gonna have to scream it so loud, they're gonna have to hear it. Open every single heart, they're gonna finally get it. Changes in the air, and it starts today. It's a sign of the time, but I would never miss it. Gonna have to scream it so loud, they're gonna have to hear it. Open every single heart, they're gonna finally get it. Changes in the air, and it starts today. I'm in. We're in. We're in. We're in. We're in. 
So let us. I'm HIV positive. So let us love you. How do I measure what's won when I feel life pass me by? Running never ending races. Don't you dare say that you're tired. How do I measure how much I've grown? Finally learning to trust. How many people tell me they see goodness inside of us? So can I let this go? The shame that's not my own. Can I let the light in in this life I've built alone? And can I let you? No one's ever done that before. Can I just move onward? Can I just move onward? I can. I've done it a million times before. Cause this is how I live now. This is how I live now. And then we looked out to find a sea of people ready to support the movement. The sit-in would last 42 days and I was now somehow in charge. All right, bitches, you already know who I am. Here's how things are gonna work around here. Rule one, respect others. Rule two, respect yourself. And final rule, be as loud as you fucking want. You in? We're, We're in. in. <laughs> So if I let this go, this love will start to grow. If I let the light in, I can make it all my own. And I can let them love me. I have never done that before. Can I just move onward? I'll just move onward, I can. Teddy, Teddy Roosevelt used to say, like, um, the best, uh, I'm going to butcher this quote, but like something like the, the, best ch the best thing that life gives us is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. And I live by that quote, um, and there's a lot of work worth doing out there, um, and it's what I got.
don't. They ask you lots of questions they seem to know the answer to. Not to hear me or All right. We should get a, a, a group hug. A group hug? And then maybe a little high school musical. Inclusive <laughs> language, sharp stepping stones are littered on your path. And if you move forward, unknown darkened corners, you're scared of what comes next. All the dreams we hold, what's lost is in the past. So I'll hold your hand. Oh uh -huh.